is a soleus stretch. So that's basically the back and the deep tissue in your calf muscle. Yeah, we've seen this set up in uh, fitness uh, surroundings for sure. So the back foot stays nicely bent. You're trying to drive, whoops, with the knee down to the ground. Um, you can totally do that against the wall, which is probably easier since I have not many, many straight walls here. I shall just place some blocks here. So initially I stay for two minutes with a stretch going down the way. I will not uh, take the full two minutes, but I would uh, suggest to you, you time yourself, you can pause the video and definitely stay here for two minutes and engage into some active breathing. So an inhale for five, an exhale for 10 or thereabouts, just to make this whole thing active, um, you know, creating space on the inhale, creating um, movement on the inhale and then relaxing into this pose. So after two minutes, we will now do an action as if we are pushing down the accelerator of a car. So I'm pushing down my foot into the ground and I hold that in total for 15 seconds. I'm already in here now for five. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, I relax for a moment before I start trying to push the foot up and get the um, space between my tibia and my um, dorsal surface. Uh, slightly smaller. You will not see very much, but I'm already making quite a big effort. And I think I have another five, four, three, two, one left. From here, you can repeat that two more times. You should definitely do that for both of your legs, of course. So I would encourage you to be quite uh, systematic with this because after all, functional range conditioning is about systematically and safely um, expanding your range and your strength in that range.